Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to let you know about uh, a few basic things uh, as you're getting into and maybe new to are the first thing um, that I've discovered for the last couple of weeks in my quote unquote art development uh, is a tool uh, which is uh, an integrated development environment um, called uh, R Studio. Right here, there is totally free uh, available. Uh, different versions, Windows, Mac, and Linux versions available. Another nice feature about this thing is you can run it off your server remotely to do development on something like an iPad or a laptop or I don't know. But it can be done. Um, just download another version called RStudio Server and install on your server. Uh, I personally got my uh, hosting company to do all that installation for me. Um, but it is a really good option. I've, I've talked about this before uh, in another video. Um, now, once you get into your RStudio, you get it up and running. This is a typical uh, workspace, what it looks like in RStudio. Uh, here you got your R scripts, your uh, console right here, as well as your uh, objects for within your R environment. And most importantly, what I'm going to show you right now is the packages, which is no different than your toolboxes uh, within MATLAB. Uh, this is the equivalent. All of, a lot of these are all free. Now, if you come under your Packages tab right here, uh, you do an Install tab. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install a, a typical um, uh, um, basically a, a package that I'm about to install. I'm going to call or I'm going to install this one MongoDB. Now what it's going to do, it's going to install it from something called CRAN under the r-project.org. The CRAN is basically uh, the repository of all the um, projects or, or I should say packages for R uh, that have reached some major milestone, uh, be it uh, an official stable release or some kind of other maybe version. Uh, if you go under the RForge here, uh, this is where I was very confused on the difference between the two. Uh, CRAN is, a, as I said, is for uh, all your milestones for stable releases. R Forge, um, any of these projects here, uh, I don't know, AEM or any of these other packages could have maybe 10 de different developers working on that particular package. So there might be multiple updates to that package. And as a result, it might throw that package into an alpha state or a beta state um, and whoever's administering it once they're happy with that version maybe they might port it over to the CRAN so that's the difference between the two um, repositories for these R packages that, that I didn't know about but uh, that is the difference so essentially if you are wanting to work with more stable uh, releases or packages of R stick with CRAN um, and that's a nice thing about uh, R Studio. It will only s install from uh, from CRAN, um, and uh, you can install packages which are at packaged up as zip. But I'm going to show you how to. If you do want to install from R Forge, I'll show you a command that can do that. Um, but let, let let's go ahead and, and install the rep from from CRAN from that repository. So in my case, I'm going to do uh, the MongoDB. And as you can see, nice thing about um, the uh, the this tool is it enables you to uh, basically uh, use the uh, select tool for uh, your project. So in this case, I'm going to install my R MongoDB. Off it goes. It doesn't install. It's going to do it from the R CRAN um, and then install into my uh, environment. So there you go. It's it's it has installed it. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, a successful message uh, in there. Yeah, our MongoDB successfully unpacked and uh, ready to go. So if I come under my R Mongo, um, you need to activate it here. Just clicker, and uh, that's the, no different than issuing this uh, line library R Mongo. So that will start it up, put it act in actively, set it up actively in your R environment. Um, which is a little different from MATLAB, uh, which does not uh, activate it once you load up your uh, MATLAB. But in this case, I'm sure there's a parameter somewhere in here that you could probably uh, activate certain 
our libraries or our packages as you start up your R Studio or our environment. Um, so essentially, as I said, that is how you install your uh, package from CRAN. But let's say if you want to be um, really adventurous, um, in, in my case, uh, we want to install one of these packages. So let's say if you want to install it manually, you can do that by ins uh, initiating this install packages. Uh, and then you also have to mention and list your repositories. So obviously, I'm going to um, uh, include that parameter of repos, uh, the, the RForge repository. So essentially, what I'm going to do is just do this. And this should work. Um, and off it goes and it's trying to um, basically install that package uh, was it AEM um, and uh, it, it, it will install it and any, any required uh, um, packages so it, it did install it AEM but again um, let me reiterate if it's coming from the RForge it could be unstable so be forewarned about that. But there you go. That's that's how you install, activate your libraries and packages. It's so easy. Um, and that's all thanks to the great uh, tool here, RStudio. Again, that's all free. The packages that I've seen so far are, are free as well. Nice thing about R. Later.